After a couple of years sailing on Noisy Lake, I wanted to show you a short preview about how it feels to be on the water and to experience the charm of this place. As things can change rather quickly, uh, we feel privileged being able to enjoy this place while we can. Unlike other days, when we go sailing this time we have set ourselves a goal to sail around the lake, to visit a few places, to see the coastline and most of all to cross the border to Hungary as we have never done this before. Even on a small boat like this it was not quite clear how far we will be able to go because of the low water level. As we set sail in a light northwest wind from Bright and Brun, we have set our course towards Rust, a small medieval town almost halfway to the southmost end of the lake. But it didn't took long and the forecasted wind came to us. Breeze started pushing our boat as we sailed with four knots downwind. Making a good progress we have decided to abandon our plan and continue straight down to Hungary. As we planned to sleep on board anyway, we were quite flexible in terms of this day final destination. After a few hours of sailing, we have arrived almost at the border. Sailing into Hungary from this side means navigating this quite narrow and very shallow channel. Also interesting was the change in the color of the water from light greenish into a darker red-brown tone. I'm just presuming this has something to do with enclosed character of the Hungarian part of the lake. <laughs> Yeah. 
After an unsuccessful attempt to find an official place in Morbis Yacht Club and stay for the night, we have opted for a quite unorthodox spot recommended to us by locals. Only after we have tied up our boat, it has turned out not to be quite optimal solution as big ships were passing through this narrow channel. Fortunately for us there was not much traffic to be expecting that day and a small boat like this squeezed in just nicely behind the reeds. Morbish tends to be quite a busy port, packed with boats and dominated by a huge theatre glowing far into the night. Not because of the music, but a mosquito invasion kept us awake the whole night. This was the worst possible scenario, which proved my boat cover absolutely useless against this particular threat of nature. So that's a lesson learned for the next time we do this. Don't forget your mosquito net. But on the bright side, we were able to enjoy sunrise over the lake in its full spectrum of color, accompanied with the singing birds and gentle morning breeze. Leaving Morbish behind, we again headed south to reach the southmost end of the Austrian border. Borderstone is a small round artificial island separating not only the two countries but natural protection area as well. Behind this border sailing is prohibited to protect the wildlife sanctuary. So this would be our turning point before heading back north. One can see this small island with different signs not far on the horizon. As always, calm sail down the wind will transform dramatically once you turn around and start climbing and beating into the waves. When a crew gets sleepy, sometimes it's not that easy balancing a small dinghy like this on a tack. But then I often think about middle-aged sailors daily transporting livestock between islands on boats often not much bigger than this one. And I think if they did it every day, I can try it once. After a short ride we have reached the port of Ilmitz. Still too early for anyone to be there. Uh, but you have to do it, it's an application. We have tried to find a spot for visitors, but this turned out not that easy again. So we improvised and found this place to tie up our boat. Extremely shallow, but still okay. It was only later that we learned this was actually a natural swimming pool for kids. Leaving Ilmitz, 
we've set the course for the port of Roost. But on our way we just wanted to explore a small channel on the east bank of the lake. This should lead us to biological station. We were not quite sure what we can find there anyway. After a short sail, we are due to enter the marina in Rust. Because of low water level and without knowledge of a local situation, it can be tricky to navigate under the sails inside the harbor. With a minimal draft, it's hard to climb and once the boat gets stuck in the mud, it turns around its keel and sails downwind so we have to repeat the maneuver again with even less skill and rather sticking out this time. Pizza! Super! Hi, 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 pizza! Držíš? Dobre! This is one of the greatest spots on the lake. And once the water will arise again, this marina will fill itself with boats. But today it provided us with special, almost personal atmosphere. With the wind gaining on force, we also used this opportunity to put a reef into our sail. What is not that easy while sailing on our boat. And we headed out again, this time across the lake into Podersdorf. We were in for a bumpy ride. Dorf, we wouldn't stay too long. 
we just booked into a village harbour, made a small walk, and with evening already approaching, we headed back out to find ourselves a proper place to stay for the night. And with the sun setting down, Bauminsel, island halfway between Podersdorf and Neusiedl, seemed as a perfect place to stay. That would be also the end of our trip this time. The next day our battery has died on us. Without engine and forecasted lack of wind in the coming days, we have decided to cut our trip short and go back where we started, finishing the circle in Brightenbrook.